I want to do this kind of um, maybe teaching with uh, videos where the idea is is uh, to watch somebody experiment on the repo. If you're not aware of how clever other people are, you think you are clever. Mm. Because you understand certain things and you're happy that you understand them. Mm. And you don't know what other people understand, so you think you are you're clever. That's uh, most of people most, would most, do, no? Yeah, we all people. do that. We all do that. So, what I find in programming, the, you, you have the same thing going on there. Mm. Um, most developers think they are smart mm -hmm. because they know what they know. They don't know what other people know. Okay. Uh, they know how difficult it was acquired to the knowledge. What I mean to say is that the most important thing for me in uh, programming is the ability to understand what you don't understand. So you mean you are clever than other people? No, what I'm saying is that this, what, this is what makes a good programmer. The, uh, the ability to understand what you don't understand. Ah, uh, what you don't understand, okay. Yeah. The ability to reflect on your, on your own um, limitation. And, um, and to, to play with that. If you want to broaden your horizon and hone your skills, what you need to do is not learn more stuff, but be more aware of, of where your understanding fails. I don't get it. I mean, don't learn more new stuff. Even you are, even you are um, trying to. What was the no, last you, part? You, you, learning stuff is the is the obvious thing. This is why people there's a whole, whole industry of schools and of um, um, tutorials and lessons and, and stuff like that, because that is the accepted way of learning. People think you have to learn stuff. You have to know stuff. What I'm saying is that it's, it's not really important. I mean, it, this is not what makes a good program. The most important thing is your me metacognition abilities. Like, do you understand what you don't understand? Mm. Yeah, okay. I understand now. That's a good point, yes. And, and that's what, what you can't teach. Right. You can't teach that. Because it has to do with character. Because what is in your way is your perception of self and there is a tendency to, to cultivate in people a sense of worth and stuff like that. So, you know, people say, whoa, wow, very good, you, you've learned this, you, you, you mastered this. And then you think, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty clever. And, and this is the trap. This is, this is, this is exactly what, you, what is difficult not to tell yourself. Mm. It's normal to learn. <coughs> Learning is uh, built in. You have the ability to learn because you are born with, as a primate with a brain and, and, a, and an environment and, and there is focus on, on, on learning and, and you're being... Um, Encouraged to learn since since the first day. Uh, your mom is, is over you and she says, Oh, sky, oh, clouds, oh, cat, oh, do, 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 do. You're learning all the time, all the time. And it never stops. Not, not jumping to, to the conclusion that, that, you, that you know. 
and not, not being satisfied with what you know, basically. Mm. Not being satisfied, with what you know, because mm. people are happy to know things and, and, you know, programmers, especially they say, oh, I know Java, I know Ruby, I know Python. Uh, this is the, the fallacy. If I explain to you a concept, and you think about what I'm saying, and there's something that doesn't make sense, if you, if you can say, or if you can, first of all, you have to think, you realize that something doesn't make sense. Mm. And then ask a question. And if you can do that, then, then you're practicing self-awareness and metacognition ability. And this is something that is difficult. It's not, it's not very, it doesn't come to everyone the same way because the whole, the whole teaching system is, is, um, is not geared towards the acquisition of metacognition abilities, but the acquisition of knowledge. And acquisition of knowledge doesn't make one smart or clever uh, or a good learner, I think. Okay. Very interesting. I think you are right. I think it's totally makes sense and uh, I agree with you. Yeah. Psychologists know that and you know, there is a, a movement in the 20th century which is called constructionism which is a paper theory of learning, uh, which himself, he, he was inspired by Piaget, a Swiss uh, psychologist. Uh, he studied how children learn. And they, they extract from that uh, a teaching theory, a uh, learning theory, and, uh, which you can apply in schools. And, and you can, so it's non-confrontational teaching, you know, there's not teacher he doesn't just deliver his, his speech mm -hmm. in front of a class, it's the children, they, children they, they work on a project and they learn by doing, mm -hmm. that's why it's called constructionism and also they construct on top of knowledge they already have. So mm -hmm. I want to do this kind of um, maybe teaching with uh, videos where the idea is, is uh, to watch somebody experiment on the repo and basically you do what, whatever you want. Like you, you can you can copy the project and build yourself and try yourself. You can watch, you can you can stop watching in the middle and and, and, and trying to do it yourself. I mean there's many, many, many ways. It's just a, a way of of, um, of interacting with uh, with learners.